What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another question. The function f of x equals x to the power of 4 minus 18x squared plus 3 has a tangent at the point negative 3 and negative 78. The same tangent line is tangent to another point or set of points on that same function f of x, and we have to find those points. So what's going on here, to give you a brief little visual, is let's say this function looks something like this. It doesn't, but let's say that it does. And let's say that at this point, this point here is negative 3 and negative 78, and it has some kind of tangent, like that. Well, what they're saying is that there's another point, or multiple points on the function, where that same tangent line is going to be tangent to another point. Let's say this point is just x and y. And we have to find that other point. There might actually be multiple points, but let's say there's just one for now. We have to find that other point where that same tangent line is going to be tangent at that other point as well, if we extend the tangent line at negative 3 and negative 78. So how would we do that? How would we find another point that has that same tangent line? Well, my suggestion is, is we first find what's the slope of that tangent line at negative 3 and negative 78. So what we can do is we can find the derivative of that function. So taking the derivative, applying the power rule to everything, we'd end up with 4x cubed minus 36x. So that's the derivative of that function, and this derivative is going to give us the slope of the tangent at any point. So let's figure out what's the slope of the tangent at this point, negative 3 and negative 78. So if we plug in negative 3 into the derivative, you'll end up getting 0. So the slope of the tangent at that point, negative 3 and negative 78, is 0, meaning that that point is most likely either a minimum or a maximum. Right? If it's a maximum, it will have a slope of tangent of 0. If it's a minimum, it will have a slope of tangent of 0 as well. It can also be potentially like a saddle point. So any of these three are potential results for that point negative 3 and negative 78 on the function. So how do we find another point going back to this diagram, even though this tangent here doesn't have a slope of zero, it's not horizontal, let's just go back to it for reference. How are we gonna find the other point at which the tangent line or at which the slope of the tangent is the same? Well, what we can do is we can take the derivative 4x cubed minus 36x, and make it equal to zero. Find the other x values of where that slope of the tangent is going to be zero. And notice we can factor out a 4x from these two terms and we'll be left with x squared minus 9. And that's going to equal zero. And then notice x squared minus 9, that factors into x plus 3, x minus 3. So the x values of where the derivative is equaling zero is going to be at an x value of 0, at an x value of negative 3, which we already know, that's the point that we are working with, and we already know that at that point the slope of the tangent or the derivative is 0, and then at an x value of 3. Now at this point, what happens is a lot of students make the mistake of thinking that these two points, given that they have the same slope of the tangent as that x value negative 3, that those are the answers. Those are the other two points. However, that's not necessarily true. And I'll show you why visually. So let's say we have a curve like that. Well, notice at this point, at this local maximum, the slope of the tangent is 0. And then notice that this local minimum here, the slope of the tangent is zero as well. So both of these tangents have the same slope. They both have a slope of zero. However, they're not the same tangent line. This line is different from that line. And in this question, we're looking for the same tangent line on 
potential other points as this point negative 3 and negative 78. So the way that would potentially happen if we extend this a little further like that is this can be a potential other point that would have the same tangent line as this point. So let's say this point is negative 3 and negative 78. By the way, this curve here is not this function. I'm just using it as an example to show you that you can have the same slope of tangent at multiple points, but it's not necessarily the same tangent line. So anyway, let's say this point is negative 3 and negative 78. Well, we have to find the other point that has that same tangent line. And if you think about it, if the tangent line is horizontal and the other point is going to have that same tangent, then the other point is going to have the same y value as well. Right? That y value of the other point has to be, whatever x value it is, we know the y value has to be the same. It has to be negative 78 as well because of that horizontal tangent. Right, And then this point here, again, has the same slope, but it's not the same tangent line. We need the point that's going to have the same tangent line. So what we can do to see if it's the same tangent line is we can just plug in these x values, x0 and x equals 3, into the function and see if we get that same y value of negative 78. And if we do, then we know that it's the same tangent line. It has the same slope and it has the same y value because it's a horizontal line. So starting off with zero, if we plug in zero into this function, we would get a y value of three. So we know that this point here is not going to have that same tangent line. What about this x value of three? Well, if we plug in three, into the function, we would get that same y value of negative 78. So we know that the answer to this question is 3 and negative 78. That is the other point that has the same tangent line as the point negative 3 and negative 78 does. And the way that this function actually looks like is this right here. I thought I would draw the actual diagram since we've been drawing graphs that haven't been accurate. But even though we've been drawing those graphs that haven't been accurate, you're not always going to be able to plot the function right away. So sometimes you're going to have to make diagrams that aren't accurate, but as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you know what's going on, you can use those other diagrams to help you, to guide you. But this is the way the function actually looks like. So notice that at the point 0 and 3, there's a tangent with a slope of 0. We figured that out over here, right? An x value of 0 is one of the x values that make the derivative equal to 0. And then, these two points, negative 3 and negative 78, the point we were given, and 3 and negative 78, both have a slope of tangent of 0, and not only that, it's the same tangent line. And that's what they were asking us for. They gave us this point, and they wanted another point that had that same tangent line. Right? So the first thing we did was we figured out what was the slope of the tangent at that point, negative 3 and negative 78. So we found the derivative, then plugged in negative 3 into the derivative, and found the slope of the tangent to be 0. So then what we did was we found out what other points are going to have a slope of tangent of 0 as well. So we took the derivative, made it equal to 0, factored the left side, and we got two other x values, an x value of 0 and an x value of 3. But when we plugged in an x value of 0 into the function and an x value of 3, we noticed that this x value of 0 had a y value of 3, so we knew that it's not going to have the same tangent line as the point negative 3 and negative 78. Even though it has the same slope, it's not the same line 
because those y values are different and only because we're dealing with a horizontal line. If we we're dealing with a line that had a slope, then potentially the y values can be different. But because we're dealing with a horizontal line, those y values have to be the same. And then finally, when we plugged in an x value of 3 into the function, we got that same y value. So we know that that horizontal tangent at negative 3, negative 78 is also going to be tangent at the point 3 and negative 78. Hence, why that is your final answer. So there's only one other point that has that same tangent on that function.